All right, in this video, we're going to look at a little related rates problem. So suppose a pebble is dropped into a pool of water, and that makes little circular ripples. The radius of the largest ripple is increasing at a constant rate of 6 inches per second. We want to know what's the increase in the circumference of the ripple after 3 seconds have passed. Okay, so uh, when I do these problems, uh, a little acronym I typically like to use when I do these problems. And, you know, this one's maybe not so bad, but I think it'll come in useful, especially in some of the others. I like to use uh, the little acronym DREADS. And what this stands for is, uh, the D stands for Draw Diagram. Uh, the R stands for Label Rates. So when we label rates, we'll usually have stuff like DX, DT, uh, DY, DT. And usually we'll be using DT if things are changing. Uh, well, we use DT if things are changing with respect to time. And uh, in a lot of these problems, that's what's happening. Sort of time is increasing, and we want to know what happens. The E stands for come up with an equation. The D stands for take a derivative. Again, we often have to use implicit differentiation when we do this. And the last thing is to substitute... Substitute... <laughs> Dude, not used to writing uh, top to bottom. Uh, so substitute in the specifics. I'm going to write that off to the side. Okay, so in this problem, we've got a little, uh, you know, so we drop our little pebble in there, and then uh, it creates a little ripple, and the ripples get, you know, increase as time increases. So they tell us, uh, they tell us that the uh, radius of the largest ripple is increasing at a constant rate of 6 inches per second. So I'm just going to suppose that, you know, from where the pebble was dropped out to the largest ripple, that has a radius of r. So now I can express this idea that the rate is changing, um, that the rate of change is 6 inches per second. So again, what's changing at 6 inches per second? Well, the radius is. And rates of change are described by derivatives. So we can say the change in radius with respect to time equals 6 inches per second. Okay, uh, we want to figure out what's the increase in the circumference of the ripple. Okay, so I'm trying to find the change in the circumference is what I want to know. Okay, I want to know the change in the circumference uh, after three seconds have passed. So basically, we want to figure out that when t equals three. Okay, so we've kind of got our little diagram. We've labeled our rates now. The next thing is we need an equation. Well, we're trying to figure out, you know, how the circumference changes. So I'm just going to use, well, the formula that tells me circumference of a circle. Circumference of a circle is just given by 2 pi times r. And now I'm going to take the derivative. And in this case, I'm going to take the derivative with respect to time. Again, that's whatever's in the denominator, that's what you're taking the derivative with respect to. But now we have to remember to use implicit differentiation. So on the left side, if I take the derivative of 1c, I would get 1. But then I have to multiply by the dc dt. 2 pi, that's just a constant. If I take the derivative of r, I'll get 1 dr times dt. And now I'm just going to substitute kind of all the specific information. Um, notice at the end of this problem, you know, the, the question asked for what's the change in radius when t equals 3. Notice our derivative here. You know, we have dc over dt equals 2 pi times dr dt. And, you know, notice there's no t in this formula. So really what it says, it says the change in the circumference with respect to time, it's actually independent of the time. Okay? It doesn't really depend on sort of how long, uh, the, you know, the ripple's been out there. Um, so sometimes, what I'm trying to say, sometimes you may even get information that's not, not needed to plug in. But in this case, we can say that dc, uh, the change in circumference with respect to time, that's going to be 2 pi. dr dt, we're given that to be uh, 6. So if you multiply uh, 6 times 2 pi, that'll give us 12 pi. And so it says the circumference is increasing at a rate of 12 pi inches uh, per second. And that's all there is to it. So again, some of these can be pretty tricky. Um, this kind of usually helps me. 
Um, when I used to do these problems, I would always forget to do the implicit differentiation. I would forget to multiply by dc, dt, and dr, dt. And this way, if I labeled them at the beginning, you know, I would go through this problem and say, hey, you know, there's no dr, dt, there's no dc, dt. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do that stuff. I need to go back and put it in there at the appropriate place. So, um, all right, um, I hope this question makes some sense. Uh, again, these can be tricky problems for sure the first few times, uh, even after that. So... Uh, you know, hang in there if they're confusing. Uh, hopefully, you know, it's just like anything, a little practice, and they should get better.